How do folks? Welcome to day two. Special day for me in a fizz gig. 22 years ago, I married the love of my life, so we decided to come here and celebrate at Ahana. So we're at the Polynesian village, just about to check in for a, a lovely breakfast. We'll see you there. Look what our lovely server Katie brought us over. She heard it was our anniversary, so she had this made up for us. It's really nice. We've got some uh, uh, lemon and uh, I think that's a raspberry macarons and uh, I think that's a uh, rose hip and that's uh, passion fruit chocolate. Oh, so we'll be uh, indulging in there very shortly. Okay, so uh, just going to go into Moana Mercantile while we're here at the Polynesian. Have a look at what's on offer. 50th anniversary stuff there. A good little selection for the kiddies as well. Our hats, crocs, t-shirts, some mini ears as well. Some nice pins here. They're cool. That's a little uh, monorail playset. Some stuff for uh, Alani. And Tuffy and friends. And it's not just uh, Lilo and Stitch themed stuff here. Yeah, Monster Zinc, Mickey and Minnie. We've got turning red merch down there. Obviously, it's a uh, heavy on Stitch merchandise. Nice little puzzle there. Some pins and keychains. This is good. Love that. Lovely little Raja there. Mickey and Minnie hands. More puzzles and toys, some ornaments there. Star Wars toys. And these are good. Barbie dolls, but the princess editions. in a race car. More t-shirts. Nice button down there. Stitch Lounge Fly. And if there was ever a t shirt that spoke to me, it's that one. Okay, we've just been on Star Tours in the obligatory shop afterwards. Loads of merch available. All I need to do now is win the lottery and I can afford it. Toys, headbands, lounge flies, spirit jerseys. Mm -hmm. 
Wookies, hats, purses. We've got Funko Pops. Over this way you can build your own lightsaber. You can also do this in a uh, Galaxy's Edge. And this is a, a cheaper experience if you don't want to spend $200 on a saber. These are cool. That's very cool that. How much is that? That is $64.99 on tax. Sure it's there. You've got Halloween tops as well. And especially for Halloween, special droids. R7 FNG. Selection of Halloween droids there.
Right, so it's uh, Galaxy's Edge again. Just been on Rise of the Resistance again. Brilliant ride, love that. But today's a hot one. It's 94 degrees with humidity. It basically feels like it's over 105, 110 degrees. So it's uh, it's very hot and very sweaty. So we're currently stand, uh, standing by the entrance. So behind me, you can see this is where the Galactic Star Cruiser, when they come for their day excursions, they come out of this entrance. It leads them straight to Galaxy's Edge into the Imperial Quarter. But, as I said, it's a really hot one today. So, I'm going to have some blue milk. Love this stuff. And probably the only way I'm going to cool down today. So, remember, if you're in the parks, stay hydrated. Currently queuing up for Smuggler's Run, which for those of you who don't know is the ride on the Millennium Falcon. You're currently queuing up through Hondo Anaka's Transport Solutions, his little base where he does many uh, scrupulous uh, trading activities, shall we say. All right. As with all things Disney, it's very well themed. Not many ride uh, queues that you get a jet engine in the middle of it. Currently in the lightning lane, the lane you're looking at is the standby lane. Now the parks aren't too bad today, it's quite it's quite good. I think it's about 25, 30 minutes for a standby, which for this ride it's very, very good. If you see 30 minutes or near enough any ride, it's worth queuing up for. Yeah, there's lots of stuff going on as you can hear. Anyway, so I don't want to film on the ride and spoil it for other passengers, so I'll talk to you afterwards.
For we search the galaxy for ancient relics. We look in forgotten places, abandoned outposts, battle ravaged planets. And what we find out there, we gather up and bring here to our workshop. So, where a stormtrooper will hopefully see nothing but worthless clutter, those who know will see priceless history, and in these troubled times, preserving our past may ensure our future. <coughs> now, we've all heard the legend of Luke Skywalker, yes? Yeah. Yes. Good, good. Well, we hear there's another, a new Jedi. She was a scrapper, like us. What's her name? Ray. Ray. And what she is leading is the spark of hope we have all been waiting for. That is why you are here, to look ahead to the future. And you're here today to build this, a lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of the galaxy's greatest heroes and darkest enemies. It is elegant and enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is an art, for the saber is a reflection of its builder, with the force flowing between them. And today, you will feel that connection. <clears throat> but enough talk. Let us begin. We start with perhaps the most important part of the lightsaber, the kyber crystal. Able to focus the energy of the Force to magnify it. Some say the kyber crystal is the heart of the lightsaber. Now, the color of your crystal will determine the color of your blade. You might recognize these from our myths and legends. Blue. Like the one wielded by Obi-Wan Kenobi. His apprentice, Anakin Skywalker. And now we hear Rey. Green. Qui-Gon Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and of course, Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, beautiful and rare, like the one wielded by the great Jedi warrior, Mace Windu. Red, the color of power, the crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, now, Kylo Ren. <coughs> These are the stories of the past. Today we are here for you, our future. You will now choose your kyber crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Builders, close your eyes and picture it. What crystal is calling out to you? What color do you see in your mind? Now, open your eyes and take your crystal. And remember, friends, that kyber crystal I very well be choosing you. Well done, friends. Now, if you haven't already, place your crystal on the green crystal holder in front of you. It is time to combine that crystal with the unique lightsaber design you have selected. You're going to be building your hilt. Now, the hilt is the foundation of the lightsaber and the center of control. The hilt is also the thing that keeps your hand from being disintegrated. So it's important to you. In the boxes in front of you, you'll find all the components you need to construct your very own lightsaber. They have been arranged by our gatherers to facilitate this build. Now here you will find your chassis, your activation plates, your grips, your emitter, and your pommel cap. Building a lightsaber is a personal journey. Just as you have selected your character crystal, you will now select the pieces that make up your own unique lightsaber's design. Our gatherers are here to help, follow their instruction and advice. All right, friends, let's build. Awesome. So all I'm going to do is just push it over here. I'm going to replace. You choose one of those pieces. Make sure you don't spin it. 
system, so that's probably going to choose one, or since it's switched, you're just going to choose one. The only thing to know is that there's going to be a red and a blue square. That red and blue square is going to be red and blue square. So you're going to do a snap red to red, blue to blue. That first choice is probably correct. Don't doubt yourself. Give you a different task, because this one is not lighting up. There you go. So now we're going to look for the red and blue square on your chassis. And once you find those, we're going to go to problem number five. Problem number five is two sets of activation plates. You're going to choose one or the other. Excuse me, sir. One set or the other. And once you choose them, you're going to see the red and blue square on the inside. Awesome. So this is red. Next part we're going to move on to is we're going to choose any two of the four grips. Do you see this big silver part now? We're going to put that down towards the middle. We're going to slide down and push down and twist. Okay. Okay. Tell me this is number three, right? Alright, the last one is here. This is number four. Yes. Alright, are you happy with it? Yes, I am. I want the you are ready leather on. Yes, the phantom leather. Two. You ready for one? May I double check? Yes. Very nice. Put it in right for a few times. You know, when you know, if the blade ever fails you, you got another weapon there. Okay, it says to activate. You're going to push that first one, pull it back to deactivate. Mm -hmm. Then you get these out of your way. Alright, so we're going to go to the last one. Yes, the last one. Yes, the last one. Yes, Tell me it's stronger. Yeah. I believe them because I don't argue with Wookiees. Yeah, I would. <laughs> so, very good. Now be careful with that ring. They're very popular here on Batu. All the case good credits for them. And a lot of sticky fingers are trying to get those credits off of you. We have a lightsaber. You'll be fine. that first step, the bond between Saber and Builder, is about to be forged. My friends, in a moment I will invite you to step forward and place your hand on the hilt of your lightsaber. Then, on my command, we will all activate our lightsabers together. Builders, are you ready? Yes. yes. Then it is time to step forward, place your hand on your hilt, and activate. Raise your lightsaber! Congratulations, my friends, you have built a lightsaber! Like the Jedi and the Sith who came before you. And like them, you too can change the galaxy! Remember, it only takes one spark. Well done, my friends, please deactivate your saber. Ah, complete your lightsaber is. Like you when it can, but lead you, it cannot. Your journey, you both begin. May the Force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. In your hands, you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power should not be dropped on the ground. So, to protect your newly built lightsabers, we are issuing you a saber sheet, which you can collect as you leave our workshop today. Well, my friends, our time has come to debate your lightsaber. Till the spire! Till the spire! The galaxy awaits, my friends! And you! You can lead us!
Ocean here at Ogres. That's at the usual carbon. Now is it me, or is Gertie the Dinosaur looking a bit possessed these days? Okay, so we're leaving Hollywood Studios, but before I did I thought I'd give you a quick public information piece. Uh, in the car park, you have these concrete sleepers in empty spaces. So if you can see that, you're doing better than me, because I didn't see one last night and I went tumbling right over it. So just be careful when you're walking through car parks, especially at night. Right, well I think we'll finish the vlog here, it's been a very full day, I had lots of food, lots to drink, lots of cocktails, lots of some weird cocktails as well, lots of shopping, lots of rides, had some uh, good experience, built a lightsaber, spent a lot of time in uh, Galaxy's Edge, which uh, we were in the Dahlia Lounge at the top of uh, uh, Destino Tower at Coronado Springs, and uh, it's a lovely view of the whole area. If you ever want to watch fireworks at Epcot, this is a good vantage point for it. But yeah, we've got a beautiful view, got a few drinks, we're just going to wind down with this little nightcap. And then we're on to tomorrow. Got something special planned for tomorrow, but we'll tell you more about that in the next vlog. Anyway, until then, if you can subscribe, please do. We'd love to have, have you join us. Uh, give us a thumbs up. We always have a, have a yearning for a, a good thumbs up, but it also helps people find the, cha uh, the channel. So please do give us a thumbs up. It really do appreciate you if you, if you could. Uh, if you do subscribe, welcome along, but uh, hit the notification bell down at the bottom and that'll let you know when the, the new video is up so until next time bye bye